Okay, so I t- like that time I did text her and I was like, I was like, can I buy your Instagram for a thousand dollars? And she was like, no. And she was like, actually, I'm insulted by how low of a price you're giving for it. I was, I was like, I can give it to Mike and it will really help him. Hey, what's up, dudes? It's Pat, and welcome back to another podcast. And today I am joined with Mike once again. And we are doing this one on the main channel because there's a question that's been asked literally every day for like the last, I don't know, five years, I feel like at this point. I might be exaggerating the number. I mean, I technically don't even know why, you know? (laughs) Okay, so like, um, this is on the main channel mostly because everyone's been asking about it like crazy. I figured that would let you guys know also that we have a podcast. So there is a link down below. We are podcasting at least once a week, so check that out. We're talking about a lot of things in life that um, probably most people are afraid to say on YouTube, I'm assuming. Yeah, <laughs> probably why the, the last, comments. Probably why the last couple have been demonetized as well, I'm assuming. Yeah, honestly, we're just doing this for free at this point. <laughs> no, no, 100%. They're all getting demonetized. We're apparently saying the wrong things we're not supposed to say on YouTube. So... Um, Anyways, check that out. Um, today the question is, what what happened with Jen? Where is Jen? Because she kind of like fell off the face of the internet. Um, so I just posted on my, what is it called, community tab? And everyone was like, um, people are asking if we still keep in contact. Like, not really. But one thing I do know is that you guys probably aren't going to hear from her again on social media. So I feel like I would be the hero and I would let everyone know <laughs> what is going on. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> she's going to kill me. <laughs> okay, so um, basically, what was it? It had to have been like, maybe like three years ago I made my last video with her. You have no idea, right, Mike? No, I have no idea. Dude, I, you didn't even answer my question on why you guys got divorced. Oh, no, it's because she wanted to have a kid, and I, I'm like, I was too young, obviously. What do you mean? You have a kid. I know, he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, you know... And we were arguing. You know how that is in a relationship. If you're arguing a lot, like then you kind of like eh. yeah, fall out of love, run out of whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's, yeah, so like it's a wear couple, and tear on the relationship. Yeah, a couple things at the same time, so it made sense. And it wasn't even like a bad breakup. Everyone talks about it like it was like the worst thing in the world. It was like this normal, like mutual, like agreement on everything, and then you know it ended. And everyone thinks my life went downhill when that happened. <laughs> That's literally uh, I think they're far from it Yeah I'm like oh lordy Oh no everything was pretty good Like at that point in my life I, Which is funny Because everyone's like like She held you together Mike holds me together I- now <laughs> Okay No dude I honestly think she was like I mean you were definitely not doing what you were doing When you're doing it Like what you're doing now you know You were definitely a little bit more well tamed Behaved however you want to say it Reserved But you weren't but you weren't doing what you wanted to do. Now you're doing whatever you want to do. Uh, All right. Continue. But yeah, like, um, basically, uh, you know, we broke up for that. Like, and I guess I'll explain kind of everything that happened. Because only people know about the breakup. They don't really know what happened after the fact. It was like, I mean, it was weird, obviously. Duh, it's weird if you're with someone for 10 years. And all of a sudden, then you're, like, not with them anymore. Uh, Dude, that is that is so crazy. Like, you know, like I sp- you spend, like, a year with someone or whatever. And it's like, holy shit. Like, you're so entrenched in their life at that point, I feel like, you know? Oh, no, for sure. So, for me, it was super weird. And this is the weird part. Because you know how I have, like, an issue with anxiety, right? Yeah, boy, do you. <laughs> yeah, I do. So, this was my weird thing. And this was, like, it wasn't relationship related. I just was so used to doing everything with her that after that, when I tried to do things by myself, I was just so anxious. I was like, I was like, I was like dude, I haven't gone to the grocery store by myself in 10 years. <laughs> I was like, I remember like one of the first times I've seen you like in public was at Publix and you're just wearing Versace shades and I walked by an aisle and then I was like, there's no way. And then I go back. I was like, this guy. Oh yeah. Cause I was like right near your place too. Yeah. yeah. Oh dude. Like two minutes away. Yeah. So the, dude, that was the weird part for me. Like after, now I'm talking, they're asking about her. I'm talking about myself now. It's cause I have a big ego and you know, I'm a narcissist. Um, <laughs> Mm-hmm, yeah. No, dude, I had such bad anxiety after because I just was not used to doing anything, like, by myself. And I already had anxiety. And then I, would, I remember calling, um, 
everyone knows Lucas. Lucas's wife, I would call her on the phone because she has anxiety. Like, in the parking lot, I'd be like, I don't know if I can go into the store. Like, I'm freaking out right now. Like, and then I'm like, I hope, like, fans don't come up to me. No offense to you guys because I was just freaking <laughs> out. Like, and, like, I was in the car for, like, an hour. For, like, an entire hour. Um, and then I was like, all right, I'm going to do it. And I go into, I think it was Target. Yeah, I went to Target. Um, I go into Target, and within 30 seconds, a woman comes up to me and says, my kid's a big fan. Can I get a picture with you? <laughs> and I was like, oh, God. That's crazy, because I love going to Target. I went there the other day with my mom. Oh, the other day, that's such a lie. It was a couple months ago, but um, we went to Target together, and I was like, holy sh**, this is better than Tinder. There were so many hot girls in Target. So, yeah, you can, you can catch me at the local Target. Yeah, dude, I mean, Target's fun. I was just freaking out. And, like, at that point in my life, I was like, all right, you got to fix this problem you have, right? Like, because, like, you can't just not be able to go anywhere, like, at all. Yeah, that's kind of a big problem. <laughs> so then I started going to Target or, like, um, Publix every single day. I went every day just until I started to feel comfortable, like, walking around in public. Dude, even getting gas was weird. But that's, that means Jacksonville. You could get shot. Um, so, like... <laughs> Especially driving your car. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, I, I went every day for like weeks. And you know what actually, like, the worst part of my anxiety that got cured is so funny what cured it. Like, I've never heard anyone say this in their life. I'm so curious. What, what cured your anxiety? Like, the worst part, I mean, I, I'm always going to have anxiety, but the part that was so bad about it that got cured, and I'll have to say, thank you, Tinder. It literally, <laughs> it's literally what did it. That's why it's crazy. As yeah, a, Tinder gives me anxiety. No, it's, it cured like my anxiety. I remember, <laughs> dude. Okay, so I went on Tinder, and it was um, it was Haley's idea for me to even go on it, which is kind of funny. And um, so every time, and like, dude, I sounded so creepy to people. I would be like. Hey, so you want to come over to my place? Like, I have anxiety problems. I can't. I don't want to go out in public. I'll get nervous. Come over to my house, please. That's what I said every single time um, to girls. That that was your opening line. That was, when they wanted to hang out, that was my that was my <laughs> that was my reply. Worked mm, every single mm. time. Surprisingly, if you can explain it to somebody, they actually understand it. Um, oh, I just have one funny story from it though. So, because, like, I joke around a lot, and I was really nervous at the beginning, but then when I started to get comfortable, then I came out, like, um, and that's <laughs> what, where... in the closet? Yeah. Then I got on Grindr. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so, um, so this girl, she comes over to my house, right? Uh, and I'm showing her around the house, and she's like, what's in there? Which it was my garage. You know where the garage is, obviously. And I was like... Where is it? The garage? What do you mean? <laughs> You're next to it. Okay. I'm, just, I'm just trolling you, dude. Okay. So she's like, what's in there? Like, she points at the door. And I'm like, and this is where I was maybe a little too much. I'm like, that's where I keep all the girls from Tinder that I killed. And she was like, she's like, she froze up completely. She's like, but like, there's five seconds of awkward silence. And then she goes, are you serious? And I was like, no. <laughs> But that kind of ruined it all, though. Like, I gotta tell you, like, that's not the perfect line of everybody. Yeah, I don't think so. Did you at least show her what's in the garage, or did she just think there were people in there? She's in there right now. I, I mean, I haven't been in there in a while. <laughs> I, it's been smelling kind of funky. <laughs> <sighs> okay, anyway, so Tinder helped me with um, that issue. I haven't even gotten to Jen yet. It's like, um, this is the whole story. <laughs> that's like, like, yeah, Tinder is awesome. <laughs> No, the hell, that dude. Trust me, that helps a lot. I started. Do, I was doing like two to three dates a day just to like practice. <laughs> okay, all right. I want to go ahead and preface that like you live in like like we discovered this when I was in London. Like you live in kind of like a different like uh, like world league, whatever you want to like call it, dude. Because you are who you are. Like you have like status. You are you know. A pretty wealthy fella, uh, if I do say so myself. So it's like, not, like, dude, the audience, they don't know what going on two to three dates a day is. Okay. You know, I don't. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh, My third wheel, half of your dates. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny. <laughs> True. Um, what's your alarm going off? Sorry, I'm supposed to be waking up right now. Anyways, before I was rudely interrupted by your alarm... 
Uh, I had to wake up. Okay. I'm late for school. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> okay, so, dude, uh, but this, like, basically with me, you know how I am. Like, whenever I do something, I go, like, crazy with it. So, like, like same thing with, like, lifting weights, with um, YouTube. Like, I just overdo like you everything run, completely. How you run until you literally can't even walk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> My ankle's broken, and then I'm like, let me wrap it. And then I just keep going. I mean, I even did that with Tinder. I was like, I was just devoted to it for like a few months. And then I was like, then I was, oh, then I was the most friendly person in public ever after that. That's for sure. Um, but anyways, so... Now to Jen, because that's kind of the point of this video, and I've made it to minute 11 without saying anything at all about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, congratulations. <sighs> okay, so after that, so I went on, I dated, I partied, I did a bunch of stuff, obviously, which, you know, if you check out the podcast channel, you hear about some of the things that I've done, the partying, and, like, crazy, like, adventures that we've had together, and ones I've had yeah. by myself, <laughs> lots of stuff. Anyways. Um, so she went on, um, her stuff's online anyways, most of it. So I think I could say it like, so she started dating a dude from, um, what is it? You help me here. Come on. What? Even, you know, I, I... Coast Guard. Okay. Coast Guard. Coast Guard. Oh, bro. How in the hell am I supposed to know? Yeah. Okay. He's in the Coast Guard. <laughs> Because you've known, we've talked about it before. Yeah, but dude, I don't remember. Okay. All so, I know is that he's. Yeah, I'm um, just continue. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so um, a lot of people ask, like, are we gonna record again? Like, no. Even if we wanted to, like, it's like nearly impossible because I think he got stationed in um. Which. Okay. Go ahead. Anyways, probably not. Gonna so what? Should they, should they leave the state because of you? A lot of people have. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, <laughs> this time I had to leave because my restraining order from Cloud was so was so big, <laughs> it was a thousand miles. So I had to leave the country. That's why I'm not there right now. Damn, Cloud got a restraining order on you. He's so rich. Have you looked him up online? It says his net worth is a hundred billion or something. I don't know why it says that, but it actually does. I don't know who wrote that article. Yeah, that's that's not even accurate. I Much actually higher. worked for him. Yeah, I was like, that's so whatever. Not my not my issue. But um, okay, so yeah, she lives like she met this dude. They got married, and then she had a kid. So now they actually have a kid. So like the chance of recording now, like I couldn't even I can't even raise like myself. <laughs> and record <Yeah. laughs> but raising a child in a recording you know how hard that would be like I see YouTubers doing it but like there's no point really like she doesn't need to do anything like and everyone thinks we're on bad terms for some reason that's like the one girlfriend well that's crazy because I always think of her as like your girlfriend not even like your wife you know because like I don't know like we've talked about some of your girlfriends and like, the, the amount of care you've expressed towards them is just so, like, significant, you know? And then when I hear Jen, I'm like, ah, it's just Jen, you know? I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, no, that's crazy. No, but, like, you guys are too, super cordial. Like, I mean, I don't know, you guys text every once in a while about, like... Not too often, shit, but, like. like, I mean, we... I mean, we're definitely... More, more than I text my exes, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> my exes are like, I hope you die and rot in I'm like, aw. <laughs> Mine usually say that, except they post it online instead. Um, <laughs> uh, but no, no, there's literally no problems. And, like, people think it affected my life. It really didn't. It was things later affected my life um, than that for sure. Um, it was actually probably a positive thing for me. It really got me going out there and doing things that I was didn't want to do before, which, like, it was a good thing. Like, it got me going All out. All right. So. Yeah, let's talk about what were you not doing that you... Are, are doing now because of that situation like what's the i mean dude i did nothing i spent like um i spent 10 years of my life sitting in my house working a lot that made me successful obviously but um yeah dude it paid off thanks for working so yeah, the, the covid wall behind you yeah hey i didn't design this <laughs> i know <laughs> uh but no like i would literally i'd work all day long i'd work like 10 hours a day then i'd work out for like two or three hours and I'd sleep. And then I'd repeat that every single day, which makes you really good at the things you are doing, but you do miss out on a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, all right, let's go ahead and preface that you were rich as sh and swole is word that Lucas wants to cut. <laughs> um, dude, like, it, like, 
Hey, go ahead and tell your audience like, how much that paid off. Like, dude, you are the proof. Like, you stay and do something, like, you will achieve it. I don't know if you work out and, like, you do everything you need to do in life, work hard every single day. Like, it pays off for everybody. I definitely sacrificed some years of my life. At this point, like, I can do anything I want to for the rest of my life, which is yeah, a big gonna... plus, you know? What, what, how much did you deadlift? What's the most you ever deadlifted? I'm 6'10". Okay, 610 pounds. And how long have you been retired for? I'm technically not retired anymore. I mean, it's got to be what? Like, I, okay, how long were you part-time retired for? Dude, it's hard to talk about that because it's like, technically I haven't posted in like two years. But before that, like there were two years of me barely posting at all. So it's been longer than that for sure. It's been like... Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, like the 10 years, years is worth... much of like barely posting. Honestly, if, I can tell you one thing. If you retire at a young age, dude, you have nothing to do. Like, I mean, you can travel and stuff, but, like, not having any kind of work to do. Like, even my investments, they're, like, handled by other people. Like, I invested my money to be smart, but also I'm still not doing anything with it. So it's like I have a free day every day. I don't have school. I don't have work. And, like, after a while, you're like, dude, I got to do something. Like, after a couple yeah. of years of that, I'm like, I need to do, like, something. Like, there's literally, like... It's so weird, and I see that's why, like, older people that retire, they try to, like, pick up a hobby, and there's other people that retire, they can't retire. They end up going back to work when they're, like, 75 years old just because they're like, what am I supposed to do with my day? Which I kind of get, man. Idle, idle hands does the devil's work, man. It's not good to not be doing anything, like, truly. All right, so I wanted to kind of dive into, like, I know a lot of people, and I'm going through the comments right now. We took a little intermission. I was looking at them. People are asking if she's going to record again, and I think people have to realize the thing is, like, YouTube was always, like, my idea, like, that was my passion, and since we were together, it's something she did with me, so, like, now that we're not, like, and she's financially stable, like, it never was, like, it was never her thing she wanted to do for the rest of her life, although she, like, loved it, she loves all the fans, but the chance of her doing that again is so low. Um, and that's what I'm back because it's something I always wanted to do. He said, I'm back, baby. No, oh, I am I back. It. Check out my TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I know. Uh. Um, so, but yeah, no. So like, when did you, when what was like, when did you first start recording? Like, how old were you? Dude, like, I don't even know at this point. I'm like, was it 13 years ago? 14 years ago? It was a while now. I got, so that's they, even before, that's even before you met her. Yeah. No. Wait, so you were, when did dude, you start recording, did dude, you start recording before? We broke up four years ago. I know, but did you start recording, you were recording Minecraft before you met Jen, correct? That is incorrect. What? That is news breaking to me, dude, oh my goodness, what? Dude, do the math. I didn't. It's been four years since we were together, and we were together for ten years. I didn't know you started recording with her. I don't know. I don't pay attention to that, dude. No, I started recording alone, but we were together. That's the thing. So, like, oh, oh, it, oh, it was like I got popular, and then I wanted to like bring her into it because I thought it would be more fun. So then she did that with me, and you know, then from there, people loved the whole like aspect of us like together, like playing. And then it just became like yeah. a huge thing. The channel absolutely blew up at that point because people enjoyed it so much. Um, and like, but it was always my passion. I was the one that set everything up. I did everything. She would just come in, she'd record with me, and then I would continue on like working. Um, and you know, and she loves everybody. But the thing is, like, I've talked to her. She doesn't really want to record again, which you know, it makes sense with a family and everything like that. But she was talking about like yeah. how, she was talking about. I don't even know if she wants me to say this, um, but oh, whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad thing. That's why I was like. Oh my god. She's talking about you. wanting to do like house staging because she likes interior design, like as a thing, like as it as work now. Which I mean, I guess that could be fun. I don't know anything about that. Yeah, oh, okay. That was like a lot less bad than what I thought you were gonna no, there's say. No bad thing. I'm just like I, <laughs> there like there is nothing bad to say. That's why when I read the comments, I'm like, what like why do you think something like horrible is going on? Um the only thing I have to talk about, I feel like, and Mike, you are well aware of this. And anyone who's a big fan probably already knows that she deleted her Instagram. Yeah. And tragic. Th and then... <laughs> tragic. <laughs> Why wouldn't she just throw it away? What a waste of an Instagram. Oh, now she needs to give it to your new wife. Me. 
Okay, so I t- like that time I did text her and I was like, I was like, can I buy your Instagram for a thousand dollars? And she was like, no. And she was like, actually, I'm insulted by how low a price you're giving for it. I was, I was like, I can give it to Mike and it will really help him. <laughs> that was a good thing. You're just gonna trash it. Ugh. Uh, dude, that was, bl- like, I didn't know you were doing that, so when you, like, called me and you're like, yeah, I offered her a thousand bucks, I was like, that is hilarious. Yeah, it made that'd sense. That would have been such a good Christmas gift, too. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, a, um, like, her, because her Instagram was, like, over 900,000 followers, I think, so it was, like, oh. uh, uh, value-wise, that's got to be worth $100,000, right? At least. I'll give her a hundred dollars. <laughs> I mean, I covered a thousand, but you know, but really what that means is like, obviously when someone deletes their social media, that means they don't want to be involved with it anymore. Like, yeah. they don't want to have to read those comments and everything. Because the truth is like, depending on who you are, like social media can be extremely stressful. Like, and it is for a lot of people. Like, I mean, I hear stories about people like their hair falling out and stuff. They're so stressed out, like they're having anxiety attacks all the time. Just from reading the comments on like YouTube. So like, I get Dude. not wanting it. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm like, I don't even, like, watch our videos after we post them or any of that. When I, like, see some of the DMs I get, I'm like, oh, my, you guys are so mean. <laughs> but then some of them, I'm like, oh, you guys are the nicest people. I'm going to keep living my life today. Yeah, but, dude, I always <laughs> think back to when I was in college and I was taking a psychology class. And they were like, you could have 100 people in the day, 99 of them compliment you, and one of them say one bad thing about you, and all you're going to think about, because it's human nature, is the one bad thing that was said about you. And, like, if you are, and that is the average human being, that's, like, human nature. And if you're on social media, you're going to read that one bad comment, and you're going to be like, oh, my God, like, like, I I hate myself. (laughs) Dude, that's what happens to so many people. I've gotten over it at this point. I really could care less, like, it doesn't matter at all. Now I, I'm at the point where I start saying things back instead because I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like posting them. Like I posted that dude on my TikTok because I was annoyed. Every time I go on TikTok, it's the first thing to pop up is you and that one dude that just kept calling you a over and over. Oh, am I allowed to say that? No. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, what do we do about that? Um, it's a big beef noise that Lucas is gonna have to add in. <laughs> that one dude that just kept calling you a <laughs> over and over. Oh, am I allowed to say that? <laughs> okay, we're back to your uh, regularly programmed uh, family friendly podcast. But yeah, like, dude, I totally get it though. Like, I mean, there were points in my life, I feel like, when I was starting to do it and getting popular, and then some people were saying things, um, and then I was like, Ow. Like, <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, I think that's, like, the the worst ones are, like, people are like, you're ugly. I'm like, oh, Like, the, I feel like those uh, are the worst ones. I, to me, at least. Oh, dude, when someone calls me ugly, I'll flip a sh... I'm like, that, you can call me a... Oh, I'm not even... I'm, go ahead and skip this section. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just stop. Like, just, stop. <laughs> Pat's already so mad at me for having Lucas edit all the words I've said already. So I'm not even going to start with that. <laughs> no, but like, dude, it's like, it's a normal feeling. And like, it's interesting because I'm thinking back to like my past, right? So like after that, like I've gotten relationships with multiple Wait, people. back when like uh, dinosaurs would fly around? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many insults I can't say on this channel. I'll save it for the podcast channel. I, I know that's what I'm saying. I'm like I can't even speak my mind freely. <laughs> um. Anyways, like um. So one thing I noticed is like after that relationship, I got relationships with multiple people. Every time I was like, you like you want to like come on do like a video with me. I'm like, but keep in mind like the the comments and stuff like they can be a little bit like judgmental and stuff. And every single time, every single person was like, not a problem. Won't bother me at all. You liars. Every single time, they <laughs> freak out. They're crying. And I'm like, dude, they said your hair was messed up. It's fine. Like, you don't tell me it's gonna that you're okay with it because people are going to go crazy and say whatever they want. And I'm like, like, I've learned like my lesson. I'm trying to like not be as much like, because, dude, you get excited when you're with someone. You're like, oh, let me show off like the person I'm with. And like, but dude, don't. Because like, make sure that you can Especially when she's that. hot. 
Yeah, make sure they can handle it first, because I've had the worst experiences with that. Everyone <laughs> freaks out. I'm like, no, you're like it's fine. Like it was you got one insult and twenty people said you were hot and one people said your nose looked weird. It's fine. Like you're okay. <laughs> Oh, man, that's way better than what they say about me. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, like, I can't even say on here, but, you know. Yeah, that's why I was like earlier. I'm like, I can't even talk about it. <laughs> yeah, so, like, um, but, I mean, like, the main thing, like, was with this whole video, like, everyone's asking questions about, like, what happened? Are we on good terms? Like, yeah, we're on good terms. And, honestly, I think she's just done with that part of her life, which is fine. It happens with YouTube, you know, like. I'm not done. I'm not Sorry, I'm not going anywhere. You can't get rid of me unless you cancel me, but you also won't get rid of me if you cancel me. Yeah, we'll just go to a different platform. <laughs> oh, there's so many. It doesn't really matter. Um, but, Mike, if you have any questions, because you never really knew anything about it, this would be, like, your time to show. Yeah, no, you know what? Honestly, I'm going to go ahead and steal this comment, dude. All right, what's up with them? Why do they want to know what favorite flavor gum she has? Like... Okay, yeah, because I asked on my tab, I'm like, what that questions so do you have? And they're like, what's your favorite type of gum? People reply to it, too. What did they even say? They know? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know her eye color. I'm not good. I'm a man. You think I know that kind of thing? <laughs> Dude, I don't know your eye color. I don't know anyone's eye color I've ever been with. I don't know my mom, my brother, my dad. I have no idea. Mine, I'm even confused about my own. They're what's black, me? like your soul. <laughs> that's, that's her fault. Mine are either hazel or green, and it's so like similar that I have no idea what they are. Like, what kind of gum? I don't even know my favorite type of gum. Um, I like all candy. Dude, I never chew gum. That's the thing. I like, um, maybe like Big Red because it's like Fireball. Oh, Big Red is yummy. But I like bubble gum, sour gum, mint gum. Oh, dude, I'm a big mint fan gum. of everything. I love mint anything. Okay, so I'm going through the comments more, and this reminded me of what I posted on TikTok. You remember how I posted on TikTok about, like, people saying, like, they're, like, watching clips of my videos, and they're like, you guys must have been so drunk or so high. And, like, thousands of people thumbs it up. And then I made a joke TikTok where I, like, you know, pretended like I... Pretend, pretend, pretended I took a shot. <laughs> I'm like, no, we would never do that. No, the thing is, we no, we never recorded videos drunk or high ever. Like someone said, did you guys ever record videos while drunk? Just curious. No, that actually never happened. We were just like, you were I mean, so sober for a long time. Oh yeah, no, we never did that before. I couldn't even imagine doing that with her. I do have videos of me drunk on YouTube though. Like, I mean, uh, some of the, f some of the videos I did, like, whenever I would do, okay, so you know, I have a bunch of collab videos with, like, friends. Yeah, 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 no, I know exactly. I got, like, Ethan, I have, like, about. Haley, my friend Katie, I have Allie, no, like, we, Allie, we took, yeah. we drank when we did that, because we were just having a good time. Oh, let's have a few drinks, let's make a video, like, no, I was a little drunk in those videos. But no, the ones with Jen were, were absolutely crazy, no, we... We were just having fun, and some of the parts in some of those videos where it was super annoying, and I was stuck in, like, a map or something, I went delirious. I couldn't help that I seemed like I was drunk enough. <laughs> or high. I don't know. Um, but one thing I do know is we did that little, um, that poll to see how old everyone was on the main channel now, and to my surprise, honestly, like, the majority is, I think it was, like, 13 to 18, and then the rest of it is, like, 19 to 25, and there's almost nobody, like, in between. So I do realize everyone's kind of grown up with me, so I could be a little bit more, like, adult-friendly here. Still trying to figure out how to work that into other videos, so I want to do the other channel with podcasts here. Um, I want to make um, a little bit shorter-term content than, like, these long, like, hour-long videos we're making there. Still trying to figure that out. You could leave a comment down below. You could let me know what you think. I really am not exactly sure. I don't think I... I don't know. I mean, I could play Minecraft once in a while, but, like, I just... I don't know that that's my best thing, really, to do. And I'm... I'm not even at home. I literally bought the worst laptop in the world. You regret things. Oh, you should never regret anything in life, is my opinion. Because I feel like everything that happens in life, like... You learn from it, and then you change your life, you make it better. Like, I feel like regrets are terrible. Yeah, don't live in regret. Life's all about, like, trials and, tri like, tribulation, you know? Like, you, like, figure it out, or tribulation. Yeah, tribulation. Um, but, like, yeah, you overcome, like, obstacles, you learn from it. It's, like, literally, it's 
life, it's like being a baby, you know, like you fall down, you get back up and you keep going and it, you know, as life goes on, like you fall harder and you have to get up a higher step, you know, like that's just life. <laughs> oh no, yeah, that's how it is. Like I recommend to anyone, don't ever dwell on the past and things you did, like. I mean, nothing's ever going to be perfect, but, like, even if something horrible happened, I've learned because I've had some pretty horrible things happen. If you learn from it to make your life better, then, like, there's, like, a reason that happened in the first place. You know what I mean? Well, you get information from whatever the incident was, you know? Like, I learned so much about, like, the, the legal system, um, jail, et cetera, <laughs> you know? Like, you learn a lot, regardless what the situation Like, that was, like, something that I didn't enjoy experiencing, and wouldn't want to do, but like it's part of my journey, you know. Yeah, yeah, what and are I you feel like too, buddy. Yeah, I feel like all the things that happened to me. I'm like, no, I learned from it. People get upset. They're like, ah, eh, you were arrested. And I'm like, hey, well, I learned a lot. Like when that happened, you know, like yeah, that, that make you better person, man. Like you gotta, you know, like you gotta learn from the past to live in the present. No, I agree with you. But um, I think we're going to end it here. This is going to be a little bit shorter of a podcast. I feel like I covered kind of what we needed to do. You're selling a car. You got to go. Like... Oh, sh- yeah, I got to go. My bad. I got to go sell a car. Can we end this? <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Um, definitely subscribe. <laughs> also, check out the podcast channel, and I'll see you next time. Peace.